Hi, my name is Michelle Berger. I am here to just tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a mother of four, and about 10 years ago, when my twins were just uh, about five months old, I decided to join the gym just to get out of the house. It was uh, just chaotic at my home. My oldest child was three and a half. I had a baby that was one, and I had uh, premature twins that I was taking care of. It was just constant diapers, bottles, just no sleep, no me time, no time just to focus on me. So joining the gym it was amazing for me because I could get out of the house, leave the children in the childcare for, honestly at first it was just a half an hour most of the time because I had to get them home to feed them and uh, just honestly didn't have much more energy than to spend half an hour there so but as the time went on um, I got more and more uh, time at the gym and eventually I had enough time to actually get some results so I decided to start training for a figure competition and uh, a year after my twins were born actually 13 months after I won my first two figure titles I won the the um, first place in my height class and first place overall at the figure contest. So I knew I was on something and I knew I wasn't just crazy and it really spurred me on to start Buff Mother. Buff Mother was my vision to help more than the people I could on a day-to-day -day basis. I wanted to get my message out there to every woman in the world that you can do what I did and that you can get your body back after having babies. You can be buff and you can be beautiful. And that was about, I mean, nine years ago or so that I started Buff Mother. Uh, I really got serious about it uh, the, within the next year and I started my website without knowing what to do at all. Um, websites were way more difficult to build back then. And um, it was just a, a, a lesson, a trial and error, just learning, uh, you know, researching, learning, researching, learning. And then I decided um, after I had a lot of success with that, I decided that I would write a book. So I wrote a book so that um, I wouldn't have to tell each person individually um, how to do my system and so that it could be duplicatable and you have the information. And so I wrote a book. It has 10 success secrets in it and it has 10 success tools and it can contains my entire diet, uh, a workout plan for beginner and advanced beginners, and also it goes over a detailed workout program, uh, pictures and examples of exactly what to do to get on your way to being a, a buff mother yourself. So the secret of my program though is based upon a uh, women's natural hormonal cycle. Um, in my training of myself, um, I realize that certain things did not work for me at certain times. Yeah, the the you know the books say it works, the um you know the the trainers say suck it up and just do it, but the reality is, is that hormones affect you. Hormones affect your cravings, your mood, your metabolism. Everything about you is affected by your hormones. And if you do not take that into consideration when you're trying to be consistent in a workout program, you'll fail. You'll fail time and time again. That's why I see so many women that go hard for two weeks and they're just doing it, they feel great, and all of a sudden, bam, hormones change a little bit and they don't want anything to do with those goals they had just had the week before. They don't want anything to do with working out. They don't want any extra stress in their life about thinking about what to eat, so they just eat whatever. They fall off the wagon completely. And maybe they'll try again in another couple of weeks, get excited again about those goals, or maybe not. They failed so miserably that they just cannot seem to pick themselves up and try again. And that's where so many people fail. They just cannot get started again. They cannot keep that consistency. They cannot figure out how to mentally get in the place to where they are consistent in their efforts. That's what a lot of I, my book and my program address. They really help you break through that barrier and go on to the next level and actually get 
consistent in your workout and diet regimen. And it's not that hard. It's actually, it's not easy, but it's simple. If you keep everything simple, you keep your mindset in check using the success tools that I have laid out in my book, you can definitely find more consistency. And really, my mission was to really lay out things simply for people, not get it too scientific. I do know the science behind all of this. Um, you know, I lay it out really simply, layman's terms, but there's a lot of complicated stuff that goes into exercise and diet and metabolism that um, most people don't even care about knowing. Okay, you don't want to know. They want to know, does it work? Does it get me from fat to fit? That's all I want to know. And that's kind of the way that I teach. I teach in very layman's terms, trying to lay it out for you in a way that you understand. Um, to keep it simple and why you're actually doing this versus, okay, I do this move because she said so type thing. Or, I, you know, you have to internalize it if you really want long-lasting success. My goal as a personal trainer is not to you know, keep you as my client forever. What I want to do is I want to teach you and give you all the tools you need to succeed and be better than even me. I want you to be the trainer. I want you to graduate to the level to where you don't need a trainer telling you what to do. You know, and that's, that's my greatest triumph. In, in so many of my clients, they've gone on to be, you know, health professionals themselves. They're, you know, training clients all over, you know, the country. They're writing ebooks. They're you know having their own communities. I see that as a su success uh, in my part that I was behind their success. That I helped them learn. I helped them get to a place to where they were able to do it themselves. And really, what my goal is is to help every woman of the world have some hope about getting in shape. That's why I post my pictures. I don't post my pictures because I'm vain. I post my pictures because look at me. I did this and I'm still doing it and I have four kids I have the craziest life you can imagine and I have success time and time again I'm consistent and it's not because I'm some genetic freak it's because I use my system that has helped me to stay consistent okay I have never been consistent before I utilize hormonal timing in my life I was one of those people I'd work out for three months, I wouldn't do anything for three months. I'd work out for a little while, then I'd quit. Or I'd you know, go on some crazy weird diet for just a little while, I'd never stick to it, then I'd quit. And it was always an all or nothing effort for me. It was never a consistent, I'm in shape all the time type thing. It was a very sporadic life and it wasn't getting me to where I wanted to be, both mentally or physically. When you're physically fit, it translates into all areas of your life. It's, you know, it's very mental. It's very physical, of course. It's spiritual. It's, you know, something that resonates inside and out of you. And you have confidence to accomplish what you're really meant to do here. Uh, fitness is part of my life, but it is not my life. I have a huge, very rewarding life that does not revolve around what I eat every second of the day and what I do for my workouts. My life, that's just a little tiny piece of my life. I'd say one, maybe one tenth, and that's my business. That's what I do for a living. And, you know, I have a lot of clients to where fitness is not their life. You know, they have a life and fitness is part of it. Maybe one twentieth of what they do in a day. This is a very doable thing. It's like brushing your teeth. You just have to do it and you take the steps on a consistent habitual basis to keep yourself in tip-top shape and the rest of your life you can enjoy it so i really appreciate you listening to this video and a little introduction about myself and my systems please go to buffmother.com and just see some of the resources there, the success stories feel free to join in our uh, private women's only area um, it's a nice, secure place to connect with other women in, that have similar goals. And I really hope that you have some hope. Um, you know, you have no reason why you can't be your best. Um, you know, you just have to believe that you can and you need to take the steps uh, needed to get there. All the best for you. Have a wonderful afternoon. Take care.